2013, on this subject, you tweeted this, quote, 26,000 unreported sexual assaults in the military, only 238 convictions. What did these geniuses expect when they put men and women together? Well, it is, it is, a, it is a correct tweet. There are many people that think that that's absolutely correct. Well, Donald Trump at the Commander-in-Chief Forum last night uh, landed himself in some hot water after defending that controversial tweet made in 2013. The Republican nominee doubling down on, on, on the provocative proclamation, sexual assault in the U.S. military increased as men and women served in greater depth along each other. Uh, so is the outstanding billionaire pushing that vital female voters right into Hillary's hands, breaking here to help me break it all down, Morgan Ortegas and Jesse Jane Duff. Jesse, I'll start with you. Uh, you served in the military. You've been outspoken on these kind of things. What are your thoughts on, on, on the answer, the tweet, and 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 and, and overall, it, this notion of of a, of a of just over? I mean, I think a lot of people are shocked by those sheer numbers. Are women in that much danger as they serve our country? Well, the tweet actually report said that many of those sexual harassment complaints were unreported and the low number of prosecuted uh, sexual harassment. So it's, it's, there's a big disparity there. You can't prosecute if it's not being reported. That's the first error there. Um, but I don't think Donald Trump said anything that was negative. He said in his tweet, this is what's going to happen when you put men and women together, and that's a no-brainer. When you get deployed, you are taking, uh, you're, you're, you're basically sleeping in the same quarters. You're 24-7. You often have showers that are open. You have bathrooms that are open, not with the opposite sex, but there are right. many males who have actually reported sexual assault and sexual harassment. So what we're looking at is, what he's saying is, what were they thinking if they didn't prepare for this? We've got colleges and universities with high rates of sexual assault and sexual harassment. It is a serious issue that has to be addressed. You can't ignore it. And the military pretty much buried this for many years until the 90s. So then, Jesse, what you're saying, is, but are you saying that then the, that these men who are trained to fight in combat can't restrain themselves? Or, or just, no, it, it just makes a higher percent probability of it happening? I think that we would be naive to say that sexual harassment doesn't exist in every aspect of our lives, and we have to be informed on it and trained on it and how to prevent it and how not to cause it. And we're being naive if we don't do it. The military ignored this for many, many, many years. And the reporting cycle with those numbers that Donald Trump had presented was, it told me, many women didn't feel comfortable reporting it. There was prosecutions, but it was not being reported. Now, the military has come great ways, and the Marine Corps, for example, has made it so that people have more access access to report crimes. However, we also have to recognize everybody has due process. Just because somebody reports it doesn't mean sure, it happens, but we can't do victim focus. Uh, Morgan, from a political point of view, um, I, I didn't hear, I heard some today, you know, I, you know, you do your channel surfing and you look on the social media and stuff like that, but it, it feels like, you know, everyone's saying that it's the suburban, you know, white woman in the suburbs who's going to dictate this, who, who will be the, you know, any swing states in North Carolina and Virginia, Pennsylvania and other places. So. Uh, this sort of thing, and plus, you know, listen, it was so convenient that Matt Lauer had this tweet in the first place. A lot of people actually believe Donald Trump was set up with this thing, but how do you... Well, he wrote it. I mean... Yeah, you... but the, the idea that someone would ask this question and Matt Lauer would happen to have in his left a tweet from 2013 was kind of coincidental. Wink, wink. But how do you think the answer was? was that the answer that I, you would I, prefer? It was, a, it was a stupid answer. It was a stupid tweet. And he should apologize. It's offensive to every woman who has served um, and is serving now. Uh, and then stupid to all women. I mean, it's offensive to all women. There's, It's not unprecedented for Donald Trump to apologize. When Kellyanne Conway, who I, it, we were just talking right. earlier what a great job she's done, when she took over, his first speech was apologizing for some of the stuff he shouldn't have said. There's, and he was really unprepared last night for to talk about the rape case, cases in the military. He didn't understand the, the judicial court, the, the court system, the court martial system within the military. Um, and I understand that he doesn't want to be overprogrammed and doesn't want to come off like a politician. Right. But I think this was a, a test case for him that shows that he's really got to prepare a lot more on these issues when it comes to the next debate. And the bottom line is he's got to apologize. It's a really stupid and offensive thing that he said, and and he's just going to dig we himself. Won't. One second, uh, Jesse. We only we've got like 30 seconds, but I want you to reply to that. And it's, also, it's if, if not you can, stupid. He if, was accurate. If you can, also the question about suicides. Uh, well, wait a minute. What was he yeah, accurate about? Says, I'm sorry, that is so outlandish. What 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 was what, accurate what was he about inaccurate what he said? on? What was inaccurate about what he was saying? The military has never treated sexual harassment seriously, and he the said the military has been women so much together over the past five years. Were you on active duty issue? when you what first got your first sexual harassment class? No, you were not. 
because I was on active duty and the military did not address sexual harassment during the bulk right. of when my career. Right, when was the last time Point you were in fact. the military? Have you been in in the last five years? I, oh, no, shit. I have not. Exactly. And exactly. And I seriously they're addressing it now. Come a and because of Kirsten Gillibrand and other senators, they're addressing it now. Ways. Right, but you haven't been in for the past five years, so you don't know what you're talking about. But well, I do know what I'm talking about. Ladies, don't insult you know, my this credibility. Is, this, this, is, this is something that touches a nerve. We can feel in and see it right here, and I'm sure we'll hear about it a lot more. I want to come back, uh, maybe not, we don't have time now, but I also want to ask you guys, maybe later in the show or a different time, about suicides. It's a national crisis, and, and yes, it's a it shame. Is. Thank you both very much. Also coming up, uh, both uh, Clinton and Trump took the stage last night, and they were grilled uh, to